Cyril Marker and I have been working together at Lombard ODA Investment Managers for the past four years. Uh, we're both based in London and we're part of a team that invests in European equities. There are three key points that I would like to highlight. The first is that we are bottom-up stock pickers, and that means that we emphasize the uh, individual merits of uh, the, the companies that we are looking at. And essential to this process is being able to assess how much a company is worth, and that's why it's very important to our team that we do our own research, we do our own financial models, and we do our own uh, valuation models. The second point is that we categorize the portfolio into three distinct groups. We have a high quality bucket, high growth bucket, and corporate events. High quality stocks, these are stocks that have good brands, good pricing power, good market positions. Uh, high growth stocks are, uh, these are companies that are growing rapidly, uh, primarily because of uh, stock specific reasons. And corporate event stocks, these are companies that we think uh, over time could get bought. Now, as a result of our investment process and the investment criteria that uh, we use, there are certain stocks or sectors that may not naturally fit. And that's why in the past we have not invested in, for example, in banks or oil stocks. And the last and third reason is that we have a fairly concentrated portfolio that's about 30 to 40 stocks. So that's around 3 to 4% per stock position. And given the, uh, our stock selection approach, which we do on a bottom-up basis, the composition of the portfolio could vary quite significantly compared to the composition of uh, the benchmark. And that is why to us, it's very important to follow a strict step-by-step -step approach. An investment example that I can give you is Fresenius Medical Care, which it's a stock that we have owned for the past four years. Fresenius Medical, it's a company based in Germany. Uh, what it does is that it provides dialysis services and equipment primarily in the U.S., but also in the European market. Uh, why do we like the stock? The first reason is that it has a highly resilient business model owing to the recurring need for its products and services. Now, if you're going to look at this uh, company and also this industry over the mid to long term, we think this, this is a, uh, a company and industry that will continue to grow as the prevalence and hence the need for dialysis services increases over time. The second reason is that it's the leading player in an industry that we think has favorable market dynamics. So the U.S. market, for example, you have Fresenius Medical along with its main competitor. They have over 70% market share of the market. And we think that that type of scale provides the benefit for the company over the long term. And the third reason is that it's a company that generates a lot of cash. It has stable operating margins, good returns. And if you look at the stock, we think that the stock is attractively valued. Risk management is a key part of our investment process. This is something that we do on an ongoing basis within our team and also independently by our colleagues in our risk team. Uh, what we're trying to do is that given the 30 to 40 stocks that we have chosen from a bottom-up stock basis, we try to look at it from a top-down view and uh, ask ourselves, given the different risk angles that we have embedded in the portfolio, are we happy with the different risk angles we have? For example, is the portfolio liquid enough? Do we have enough diversification from a country point of view? Do we have enough diversification from a sector point of view? In the end, what we're trying to do is to avoid or minimize losses, uh, in particular the uh, permanent loss of capital type that we have found especially detrimental to long-term performance. And that is why for our team, adhering to a step-by-step -step investment process is critical to our strategy.